Okay guys, I want to welcome you to my channel and I want you guys to know that this segment is about Nipsey Hussle, of course, and the issues that I have with the story that I'm getting behind his death. It just doesn't make sense. It's not adding up. It's not adding up. Okay. Um, the first issue, I know my lash is a little leany, but sorry about that. The first issue is the fact that the media keeps saying and even plastered the guy face all over every media outlet. Like it was even on the Metro News that Nifty friended it. Now we know that. Well, I know that that is not how they are supposed to handle situations like that, especially when the person of interest in the case is so, you know, big in, in the media like that. They're not supposed to plaster the, they're not supposed to plaster um who they believe did it all over everything. I'm sorry, my nerves get bad when I do videos, so... I can't, it's hard to think of what word I want to say next, but anyway, yeah, they're not supposed to, they're not supposed to plaster whoever they think, believe did it, um, faced all over everything, and that's one thing that they did, um, I believe that they, they tried to hurry up and get somebody because they seen that, they seen the numbers coming together, they seen everyone gathering for Nipsey, they seen people standing up, they seen people posting that, like, yeah, we're ready to ride on y'all for taking out Nipsey, so it was just like, well, here you go. Here goes somebody right here. We have him. This is the person who did it. We're looking for him. And, um, another thing is, did anybody catch that when Nipsey, business partner, was speaking, he said that the person who shot Nipsey introduced himself as a rapper but how about the government or the media was saying that the person who shot Nipsey was somebody that knew Nipsey? So how did this person get to introduce himself? Wouldn't it would have been somebody that already knew Nipsey? What isn't it a hater? So why did he introduce himself as a rapper altogether? So like the stories isn't making sense at all. It's just too many um indescriptions. It's just too many issues with the story. How about they never they never showed us this guy face? For all you people that keep saying um y'all with these conspiracy theories and every time you turn around y'all got a theory for this and a theory for that and y'all just. Always making up a theory and everything the government. Because it is. Because it is. It's the government. Whether you want to believe it or not. They took out Nipsey because he was getting too big with his voice. And he was really for his people. That's why they took out Nipsey. They took out Nipsey because he was a threat to Big Pharma. They took him out because he was a threat to hospitals. They took him out because he was a threat. Period. Okay? They took him out because people everywhere loved him, okay? He was well-loved. And he used his platform to promote peace. And he used his platform to be for his people. He used his platform because he didn't mess with entertainers. And he told them that in, in his lyrics. He told them he was nothing like them. He told them he wouldn't use his platform to, uh, to hurt his community more. He was a threat. <laughs> So, yes, he was a target, okay? He was. And let me tell y'all something. Even when they said that his, his friend took him out, they said that his friend took him out, right? And it was somebody that he knew personally, knew all his life or whatever. Why didn't this guy Ben took him out before he got famous? Why didn't he take him out on the rise? Why will he wait till now? Secondly, 
why 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 just just why it's just like so mind-blowing like it's just so mind-boggling like i just cannot oh i just can't my mind just go every single time like it just doesn't make sense but i'm gonna say this think about this an informant is an informant even if they were saying it's his friend and nipsey kept saying that his friend was a snitch and he was you know jealous of him or whatever a snitch is what what is a snitch a snitch is a government informant a snitch is somebody who works for the who who does the work for who so a snitch is still who? The government. And it's just so sad that they use us every time to take out one of our own. And that is the reason why we never get anywhere. And we will never progress as a people because it's always one of our own. Who love being chastised by that whip yes it's true it's just so sad it's ridiculous it's beyond ridiculous yeah and all the numerology behind it the, the age 33 yeah it's all true cause that's just how they operate look up how many famous people then passed on that day. Alone. Yes, it all adds up. It all adds up. But my thing is Malcolm X should have been protected. Khalid Muhammad should have been protected. Nipsey should have been protected. Pac, Dr. CB, so many others who have brought so much good to our community should have been protected because at the end of the day, we could have had our own government. We could have had so much more and we have protected the people that was was, was in our community. We would, we would actually have a community because now it's just like we have blocks. Now it's just like we have blocks and we have neighbors and everybody go to work and do their own thing. And nobody wants to live within the community. Everybody want to continue to keep going to work for the government. Nobody wants to live in the community anymore. Nobody wants to actually be an asset to their community. Everybody wants to just lay their head there and just, up. Uh, time to get up and go clock in. For what? For what? For what? So, guys, don't let Nipsey death be blown. Don't let his death be in vain. If we're going to rise up and wise up, still. Let's take back the power, like, and I'm not saying it in, I'm not saying it, like, as a threat to any other races, I'm not. I'm saying it's time we come together. It's time we have something of our own. It's, it's time we um, quit with the music that belittle our our other people that you know the the grades our people that that you know what I'm saying that craps on our people who doesn't have what every other celebrity has it's time we stop wanting to live up to keep up with the next person who has more it's time we stop all of that like
It's just so sad. It, it, it's just so sad. Like, we really lost a good... We really lost, like, we really... We really are losing good people. We really are losing people who... mean a lot to our community. So, I want to say, you know, C.I.P. to Nipsey. May he keep rolling. And may his work here on earth do not be in vain. May it be used for the greater good of, and the better of our people. And This this one this one truly hurts. Like I felt the shift. Like really, I felt the shift. And that's how I feel. So like every time we get up, somebody right back knocking us down. We knock back down again.